Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and on this episode, we're putting a head-up display on the Pulsar. Yes, we're back again with the Pulsar. Haven't done much with it for a little bit. And as I've been saying in my last videos about the Falcon, I'm getting a digital dash for that. It hasn't quite turned up yet, so I wanted to treat myself for something for the Pulsar. Plus, this will be good, you know, for going to the track. I can. There's a few extra things I can monitor, and there's more precise readouts. Plus, it was only $37, so I thought, why not? So we'll go have a look, and I'll show you what the little unit's all about. So luckily enough. I got one of the Pulsars with the OBD2 slot, uh, which is the European hatchbacks and the Almiras and stuff like that. So if you're in Australia with a sedan, this is probably not going to work because you don't have an OBD2, OBD2 slot. But this is the unit. It's an OBD smart digital meter, head up display. And yeah, I'll, I'll rip it out for you, show you what it does. I'll tell you about it. So this is the little unit. Little LCD screen can be mounted wherever you want. Being a head-up display, most people mount it on the dash up the top near the window and stuff. But I might put it somewhere different. It comes with that. And it comes with the cable for the OBD2 and a little sticky pad, you know, to put it where you want to put it, and some instructions. Now, what does it do? This will give me a readout of speed voltage, coolant temp, and a fair few other things. And it also has a 0 to 100 timer, a quarter mile timer, a brake test timer, and does trip meters, and all sorts of stuff. So, we'll get it installed, and I'll show you what I've got set up for it. So here we are, on the interior of the Pulsar, and if you want to locate the OBD2, it is under there. So, we're probably going to run that under there run it up through here and we've worked out instead of putting it up on the top there where most people would put I'm going to put it right right there because we've worked out that from where I sit it shouldn't actually block out any of the dials and then when I want to actually stream any of the live data I still got my speedo and everything else I want to read too so we'll get into plugging it in and setting it up So we plug the OBD2 in and we're going to run it up the side here and hide the wires out the way and then it's going to sit up here and what we're going to do is we're going to roll them up and then we'll cable tie them out the way but the next thing to do now is to get the little sticky pad and yeah see where it sits I'm going to push it right down and yeah we'll put the little sticky pad on and then we'll start her up. Volts, got coolant temp and speed at the moment. You can, there's a little toggle switch on the back which you can, you know, change the stuff on the right, change the stuff on the left, which I'll probably put back to probably put back to where we had before. Voltage and some. Oops, went past it. Go that. And then you can switch between another one. Do the same thing. And then you can have speedo and revs. Well, I think that's revs. And you can have just a speedo. 
and then you can have multiple readouts at once trip times distance and then that's your speed test your 0 to 100 and all that sort of thing your brake test and then you've got live data which you can scroll through and there's there's plenty of stuff in there as well not only is this doing everything that I've showed you it's also a scan tool which is handy as because then if something goes wrong I can just scan it up right here and now I'm gonna go get something else to mount this up with I reckon just to make it a little bit better maybe some um, Tarzan tape or something but yeah we'll get this for a little bit of a drive and we'll go from there so we got the Tarzan's grip mounting tape and we mounted that up and it's in there firm now and I've settled on the one I want and it just starts up and yeah this one's got my fuel usage which is something I didn't get to see before it's got a little rev a real tachometer and obviously I can see my coolant temps and now all the other all the other stuff's adjustable and yeah I'm pretty happy with that it's quite good doesn't really block out my speedo or anything. It's quite bright in the dark and in the light, but I've just set the brightness to to full, and I've calibrated the speedo and stuff. So yeah, we'll we'll take it for a spin, and I'll show you how it goes. with it good $37 buy it's gonna be good for track days and other things you know and I'll have to chuck a video up of doing a 0 to 100 test with this and we'll see how it goes so we've got the digital dash coming for the Falcon up soon that should be pretty exciting and we're gonna finish off the reverse cow on the Falcon but until the next one 